Fractures at the base of the first metacarpal involve the carpal metacarpal or CMC joint of the thumb. This joint is very important in gripping and pinching. A fracture through the base of the metacarpal can damage the joint, causing it to degenerate and become arthritic. This is known as post-traumatic arthritis. Two specific fracture patterns have been named. Bennett's fracture involves the ulnar side of the metacarpal base. Rolando's fracture is a Y or T-shaped fracture of the metacarpal base that may be very comminuted, meaning that it is broken into many pieces. The CMC joint of the thumb has been described as two interlocking saddles. This allows for movement in two planes. Among the tendons that attach to the first metacarpal are the abductor pollicis longus and the adductor pollicis. A Bennett's fracture may occur when a violent axial force is applied to the thumb in a slightly flexed position. The abductor pollicis longus has a tendency to pull the metacarpal down and out while the adductor pollicis pulls the head of the metacarpal in. This results in slight dislocation, also known as subluxation, and displacement at the fracture site. Even fractures that initially appear non-displaced may displace over time because of the tension applied by these tendons. If the fracture is allowed to heal in this position, it can change the mechanics of the thumb and lead to arthritic changes. The end result is a weak grip, poor range of motion, and chronic pain. Bennett's fractures are usually treated surgically. The fracture can be pulled back into alignment either by making an incision and looking right at the bone or closed underneath a fluoroscope, which is like a small x-ray machine. Pins or screws are then used to hold the fragments in place. Several different methods of placing the pins or screws are available depending on the nature of the fracture. Rolando's fractures have a worse prognosis, especially if they are very comminuted. If there is a simple T or Y fracture, open reduction and internal fixation is a good option. An incision is made over the fracture site. The fracture is reduced or pulled back into alignment. A pin is used to hold the fragments in place along with reduction forceps. A T-shaped plate is then applied and the pin removed. If the fracture is very comminuted, open reduction and internal fixation will likely not lead to a good outcome. Instead, pins or an external fixator can be used to hold the metacarpal in place allowing the mini fragments to heal. Even with appropriate treatment, Rolando's fractures may result in post-traumatic arthritis and chronic pain. If so, the CMC joint can be fused. This will eliminate pain caused by the arthritic joint, but will result in limited range of motion.